Potential candidates for the leadership of the UK Conservatives are counting the numbers as they weigh up their chances of winning next week's contest. The victor will be the next British Prime Minister succeeding Liz Truss, who resigned yesterday. If they are to run, the candidate will need the support of at least 100 MPs. Oh, no one has officially said that they will stand, but Rishi Sunak and Penny Mordaunt appear to be top contenders. Reports suggest former Prime Minister Boris Johnson could also try to make a comeback just three months after he was forced to resign. That possibility has sparked more uproar within an already divided Conservative Party, even though Mr Johnson still holds substantial support. The fast-track leadership contest will see a new PM declared within a week. Meanwhile, there have been renewed calls from the opposition Labour Party to hold an early general election. Oli Barrett joins us live from London. Oli, uh, Boris Johnson quit after a string of scandals, but we've already, as you just mentioned, uh, his, the suggestion that he might return has sparked uproar within his party. But he does have his supporters, uh, by, led no less by the Trade Minister himself. How would you describe the reaction to him possibly returning both within the party and the larger public. Shall we say mixed? Boris Johnson is a divisive politician and arouses strong emotions on either side. There are very few people who are ambivalent towards the former prime minister. People either love him or really don't like him very much at all. And so it depends which of those camps people are in in terms of their reaction to his return. That is also true within the Conservative Party as well. There are dozens of Conservative MPs who are overjoyed at the prospect of a potential return for Boris Johnson. There are quite a few who are really adamantly against it. Indeed, there are Conservative MPs already, some of them, saying that they wouldn't be able to be in a Conservative Party led again by Boris Johnson. So, as I say, a divisive figure, and it very much uh, depends on who you talk to, the kind of reaction to you get to the prospect of a potential return. But it, it is absolutely the case that Boris Johnson is considering a return. Some analysts writing the Tory party off in its current form. Is there any sign of a level-headed review of the chaos that has, as we've seen now, ripped the party apart? <laughs> It's going to be very difficult for whoever does take over the party. Uh, partly, that's due to those unity issues that, that you mentioned there. Uh, the party discipline's really broken down on a number of occasions in recent days, weeks and months. So whoever is the next leader of the party will have a huge task on their hands just to be able to deliver stability and party discipline, given the divisions in the Conservative Party. We've mentioned Boris Johnson. Rishi Sunak is a candidate considered by many to be the favourite, the former Chancellor. But he is unpopular with large sections of the party as well, particularly those supporters of Boris Johnson. One candidate that had been mentioned as a possible unity candidate is the current Defence Secretary, Ben Wallace, but he has just ruled himself out of the race. It is going to be a really tall order for whoever takes over, and we should know who that is in days. Friday next week will be the outside date at which we can find out who the next leader is, but it could actually happen much sooner than that. It could be as soon as Monday that this race is done and dusted, and we know who will lead the party and therefore become the next UK Prime Minister. Well, thanks to the Ollie Barrett reporting live from London.